वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल गुरुगुल If you are watching my video for the first time then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for all notification Today I am going to start with part 2 of exercise 8.2 Question number 4 A man invested rupees 46875 So principal ho gaya rupees Forty six thousand eight hundred seventy five. Rate is four percent per annum. Compound interest for time is three years. All right. Now, is some calculation part diya hua hai? So the first part of question number four, we have to calculate the interest for the first year. Right. So interest nikalte hain. Principal is four six eight seven five into rate is four into time will be one by hundred. All right, four ones are four twenty five is a hundred twenty five ones are. And here it will be twenty five one eight seven five. So interest हो गया rupees one thousand eight hundred and seventy five. तो क्या पूछा गया था that what is the interest for the first year? So part one done. Now we will move on to the second part of this sum. जो कि पूछा गया है that we have to calculate the amount standing to his credit at the end of the second year, right? तो अब ये जो इंटरेस्ट निकला है अब यहाँ पे देखिए सो वी ऑल नो कि इन द केस ऑफ कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट जो भी इंटरेस्ट निकलता है एट द एंड ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर उसको हम लोग प्रिंसिपल में ऐड करते हैं और जो अमाउंट मिलता है वो बन जाता है प्रिंसिपल फॉर द सेकेंड ईयर सो अमाउंट एट द एंड of first year is equal to p plus interest that is 4 6 8 7 5 1 8 that gives us the amount of rupees 48750 ab ye jo amount hai that becomes the principal for the second year therefore principal for the second year is equal to rupees 48750 aur yahan pucha gaya hai we have to find the amount standing to his credit at the end of second year to uske liye hum logo ko ab second year ka interest nikalna hoga right so interest is equal to 4 8 Seven five zero into one into four by hundred. So four ones are four twenty five. Twenty five ones are, and ye ho jata hai one nine five zero. So hamara yaha interest kya hua one thousand nine hundred and fifty. So the question for the second part is we need to find the amount. Therefore. Amount is equal to principal plus interest. That is four eight seven five zero plus one nine five zero. That gives us the amount of rupees fifty thousand seven hundred. So here we have the answer for the second part of question number four. Now. The third part of question number four, we have to calculate the interest for the third year. So, principal for the third year is equal to rupees fifty thousand seven hundred, जो कि previous year का amount था. अब इसको आगे calculate करते हैं. Interest is equal to p. Into time is one. Into rate is four by hundred. So equal number of zeros got cancelled. Two thousand twenty-eight. 
सो द क्वेश्चन वॉज दैट वी नीड टू फाइंड द इंटरेस्ट फॉर द थर्ड ईयर सो ये है हमारा इंटरेस्ट फॉर द थर्ड ईयर ऑल राइट यर वी हैव द आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट फॉर द सेकेंड ईयर ऑन रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड इन्वेस्टेड फॉर थ्री ईयर्स एट टेन परसेंट पर एन एम एंड आई ऑल्सो फाइंड द सम ड्यू एट द एंड ऑफ द थर्ड ईयर सो सबसे पहले प्रिंसिपल इज रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड ऑल राइट टाइम गिवेन इज थ्री ईयर्स and rate is 10% second year ka hum logo ko compound interest find karna hai so let us begin to so second year tak aane ke liye hum log ko step by step hi jana hoga that means first we have to calculate the interest at the end of the first year because jo interest nikalta hai usko hum log principal mein add karte hain wo hamara amount banta hai aur wahi amount बन जाता है प्रिंसिपल फॉर द सेकेंड ईयर तो इसीलिए हम लोग स्ट्रेट अवे जंप नहीं कर सकते राधा वी हैव टू गो स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो इंटरेस्ट फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर इज इक्वल टू पी इंटू टाइम वन इंटू टेन बाय हंड्रेड सो ये कैंसिल हुआ सो so, हमारा इंटरेस्ट आया 600, सो अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू प्रिंसिपल प्लस इंटरेस्ट दैट इज 6000 प्लस 600, दैट गिव्स अस द अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड राइट अब ये जो अमाउंट है दैट बिकम्स द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द सेकेंड ईयर सो principal for second year is equal to rupees 6600 so interest hamara kya hoga 6600 into 1 by 10 by 100 all right so hamara interest mila 660 so amount is equal to p plus interest that gives us Six thousand six hundred plus six hundred sixty. That gives us the amount of rupees seven thousand two hundred and sixty. So, here, what was asked was that we need to find the compound interest for the second year. All right. So, the compound interest for the second year. Compound interest for the second year. is equal to final amount all right final amount minus the principal or principal kaun sa hoga always the original all right so final amount is 7260 minus the original principal is 6000 So that gives us the amount of rupees one thousand two hundred and sixty. So one part हो गया. अब आगे पूछा गया है that find the sum due at the end of the third year. So now we will talk about the third year. So now अब हम लोग calculate करते हैं third year. So third year में हमारा principal क्या हो गया? वो था रुपीज सेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी राइट अब इसके बेसिस पे हम लोग को इंटरेस्ट निकालना है सो इंटरेस्ट इज पी इंटू टाइम इंटू रेट बाय हंड्रेड ये सब कैंसिल हो गया जीरो तो हमारा इंटरेस्ट है सेवन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स और राइट अब हम लोगों को क्या फाइंड आउट करना है फाइंड द सम ड्यू एट द एंड ऑफ द थर्ड ईयर दैट मींस वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द अमाउंट सो अमाउंट इज प्रिंसिपल प्लस इंटरेस्ट और राइट सो प्रिंसिपल हमारा था 7260 प्लस इंटरेस्ट इज 726 दैट गिव अस द अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीस 
7986 and this is the answer. Now question number 6. Calculate the amount and the compound interest on rupees 5000 in 2 years when the rate of interest for successive years is 6% and 8% respectively. Now here we see the principle is 5000. Time is 2 years. And just because we are calculating compound interest, so we will take time 1 year. Lenge, right? That problem solved. But here we see two rate of interest diya hua hai. That means her sal rate of interest is different. In first year it is 6% and second year it is 8%. Achha, yaha pe dekhi likha hua hai that the rate of interest for successive years is 6% and 8% respectively. Yani ki first year mein hamara rate of interest 6% hoga. Second year mein hamara rate of interest 8% hoga. Isko aap aage piche mat kar lijiega. Isi liye yaha pe dekhi likha hua hai successive years. Right? So, follow them in order. So, now let me continue with the sum. So, question number 6. Amount is rupees 5000. Alright? Time 2 years and rate of interest is 6% for the first year and 8% for the second year. So, shuru karte hain. Interest is equal to Principal into time into rate by 100. Equal number of zeros got cancelled. So, our interest ho gaya rupees 300. So, amount at the end of first year is equal to principal plus interest that is 5000 plus 300 that gives us the amount of rupees 5300. This is amount. Now, this amount is the amount of our principal for the second year, which is rupees 5300. But here, our rate is 8%. Alright? So, interest ho gaya hamara 5300 into 1 into 8 by 100. Equal number of zeros got cancelled. So, 53 into 8 gives us rupees 424. Now, amount for the second year is equal to Principal which is 5300 plus 424 that gives us the amount of rupees 5724. So we got the amount. Alright. Aage pucha gaya hai. We need to find the compound interest. Alright. So the compound interest for 2 years is equal to final amount minus the principal. Principal kaun sa hoga? The original one. Alright. So, final amount hamara kya tha? 5724 minus original principal kya tha? 5000. Therefore, in dono ko jab subtract kiye, to hamara answer kya aya? 724. This is the compound interest for the principal of rupees 5000 for the term of 2 years. This is the answer. Question number 7. Calculate the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest on rupees 20,000 in 2 years at 8% per annum. Alright? So, first of all, principal is rupees 20,000. Time is equal to 2 years and rate is 8% per annum. 
तो सबसे पहले हम लोग सिंपल इंटरेस्ट निकालेंगे विच इज पी इंटू टी इंटू आर बाई हंड्रेड सो ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इंटू टू इंटू एट बाय हंड्रेड यहाँ पे टू क्यों लिए हैं बिकॉज वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट नॉट द कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट राइट तो इक्वल नंबर ऑफ जीरो गॉट कैंसल्ड टू हंड्रेड इन टू सिक्सटीन गिवस अस द अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सो ये है इंटरेस्ट ऑन द अमाउंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड और राइट अब हम लोग निकालेंगे कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट और राइट सो For compound interest of first year, so interest will be twenty thousand into one into eight by hundred. So equal number of zeros cut gaya. So ye hamara ho jata hai. P is one thousand six hundred, right? Ab ye jo hai, isko ham log kya karenge? Amount find out करेंगे by adding principal to the interest. So principal is twenty thousand plus sixteen hundred. That gives us the amount of rupees twenty one thousand six hundred. अब ये जो amount निकला है, that becomes the principal for the second year. All right. Now principal for the Second year is equal to rupees twenty one thousand six hundred, right? So interest निकालते हैं हम लोग two one six double zero into one into eight by hundred. So equal number of zeros got cancelled. Now two one six into eight gives us the amount of rupees one thousand seven hundred twenty eight. अब ये interest को हम लोग प्रिंसिपल से ऐड करेंगे इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आउट दी टू वन सिक्स डबल जीरो प्लस वन सेवन टू एट विच गिवस अस द अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीस ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एट सो ये रहा अमाउंट अब इसका कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट क्या है सो इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आउट द कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट व्हाट वी डू वी सब्रैक्ट द अमाउंट From the original principal, which is rupees twenty thousand, right? So twenty three thousand three hundred twenty eight minus twenty thousand. So our compound interest is rupees three thousand three hundred and twenty eight. So ये रह गया amount हमारा compound interest का और इसके पहले हम लोग find out किए थे The amount for the simple interest. अब इन दोनों का difference हम लोगों को निकालना है right? पूछा गया है that we need to find the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest. Hence, the difference between compound interest and simple interest is equal to कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट निकला है थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट माइनस सिंपल इंटरेस्ट वॉज थ्री थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड दैट गिवस अस द अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीज वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एट एंड दिस इज द आंसर विद दिस वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट टू एंड डियर व्यूअर्स प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू गिव योर लाइक एंड कमेंट्स टू आ videos thank you